So many people notice that their level of anxiety cranks up when they're driving. And this is super common. And it's not just from feeling anxious about getting in an accident or driving. It's actually the physiology of having your body sort out, picking up visual information about being still inside your car, about the movement that's happening as it's moving past you. You're getting otolithic information about your acceleration through space. So you have to be able to put that all together at one time in your brain. So a lot of people that have problems after a concussion, they don't necessarily integrate all that information and process it quickly, we can start to see that ramp up and people will notice they might get tight in their chest even. They might feel like their breathing gets short. Those are all kinds of signs that we're processing at a rate that is a little bit above our pay grade. It doesn't mean we always necessarily need to avoid driving. Sometimes just working through that, it gets better on its own. Work on visual processing, changing some of the integration from the vestibular system or from the somatosensory system. Don't be discouraged by it. It's a thing that happens for a lot of people. And for a lot of people, there's a way out of that. So it's, it's very hopeful in that sense too.